Today marks the auspicious ninth day of the prosperous Navratri, celebrated with grandeur in Mel Marvattur Siddhar Pedam. This day signifies the well-being of the mind and our gracious deity is clad in dried fruits to epitomize the goddess of knowledge and wisdom, goddess Saraswati. Health is wealth is a popular saying. Dry fruits, which are a host of health-benefiting properties, help us to attain this holistic health. Almonds, pistachios, apricots, cashew nuts, currants, dates, figs, groundnuts, areca nuts, pumpkin seeds, chestnuts, coconuts, chironji nuts, pine nuts, melon seeds, and walnuts adorn our goddess who graces the shrine looking delighted. Dry fruits are superfoods that can be easily digested. They are a well-known blood purifier and sharpen our memory. They not only maintain a healthy heart but act as a powerhouse for all the organs in our body. They are loaded with antioxidants proteins, vitamins, iron, and boost our immunity. Depression is more prevalent nowadays, and millions of people are affected by it. Besides reducing depression, dry fruits raise the level of optimism and lower blood pressure. Saraswati is a fusion word of saras, meaning pooling water, and vati, meaning possessor. Therefore, Goddess Saraswati is a feminine deity who is the possessor of knowledge, which is mind. She is known by many names and her synonyms include Brahmi, Goddess of Sciences, Kalaimagal, Goddess of Art, Namagal, one who dwells in the tongue of intellects, Bharati, Goddess of Brilliance, Vani, flow of music, Savitri, goddess of dawn, Vagdevi, goddess of speech. Today, our Divine Mother, Adi Parashakti, takes the form of Saraswati, who is the formless concept of wisdom, and the worshipper sees the divinity in various forms of Saraswati. The deity is depicted with four arms and is clad in pure white silk and seen divinely seated on a white lotus. Arrogance, dogma and illusion are the root of our ignorance and her divine presence in the form of Saraswati enlightens us with the definition of intellectual humility. The goddess of learning, knowledge and wisdom is seen today holding a rosary in her right rear hand and Vedas in book form in the left rear hand and front two hands playing the musical instrument Veena. The rosary signifies meditation and contemplation which helps us to unite with God. The book signifies intelligence and the 63 arts in Indian Vedas. We tend to grow fond of ripe fruits as it looks more appealing to our eyes. We ignore the raw or dried fruits as it doesn't tickle our taste buds. Likewise, we develop perceptions about others by seeing their outer appearance, not knowing their good inner self. The true wealth lies in fruits and seeds which are packed with nutrients. The drying process only dehydrates the fruit, leaving the entire nutrients intact. Comparing this process with dehydration, our soul can be purified by removing negative thoughts, thus making ourselves devoted to the spiritual journey. The Supreme Deity Adi Parashakti, who is clad in dry fruits, symbolizes this wisdom. 
during this day of celebrating the goddess of dry fruits which adorn our holy mother depicting goddess saraswati let us become more aware of the importance of dry fruits and the need of a healthy body and mind om shakti om please like share and subscribe to the bangaru amma global youtube channel for more inspiring and uplifting videos like this one.